This is a Fox News alert. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi condemns the separation of church and state. Let's follow the lead of the National Catholic Conference of Bishops who, who talked about the baby Jesus escaping violence as an infant, who talked about sending children back into the circumstances you described as sending children back into a burning building. So it's not just about having a heart, it's about having a soul. And the soul of our country is about respecting the dignity and worth of every person. Well, in that case, I have no heart and no soul. I hate children, especially babies. They're just hairless cats with thumbs. I'm glad I got that out of the, out of the way because that's what pro-amnesty types imply about anyone who favors legal over illegal immigration. It starts with Obama, trickles down to Pelosi, and then the media laps it up. The gimmick is meant to silence you through fear of personal attack. You don't want these children with their teddy bears? You are Satan. No, you're worse than Satan. You're a Republican. Mm -hmm. Compassion is often code for its opposite, creating policies that harm those they're meant to help. Dependence on government is compassionate, while fostering opportunity is not. Letting the mentally ill roam the streets is compassionate, while hospitalization is not. Forcing poor kids into bad public schools is compassionate, while charter schools where they'd excel is not. So what is compassion? Nancy Pelosi said that deportation would be like sending kids into burning buildings. If so, then why not help put those fires out? Why not export values that create better lives in awesome countries like ours? But that's not what the amnesty preachers want. In their odd world, everyone should come here, but the very thing they're coming for, our way of life, shouldn't be inflicted on others. It's an equation that preserves pain beyond our borders as it rattles what's left of our own. But what do I know? I hate babies. I just hate some babies. Hey, Bob, I, I am. Nancy Pelosi teaching yeah. compassion is like you <laughs> teaching restraint. Is, de is deportation of illegals unchristian? Well, first of all, I don't usually talk to Satan, but I'll talk to you here for a second. Uh, uh, the, uh, I think she's hit on a point that is, a, frankly, not a bad sales point, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, mm -hmm. if uh, you try to you give as much emotion around this as you possibly can, and it is kids, and it is very difficult to take uh, uh, what would be perceived as punitive action against kids. Ted Cruz is trying to do that in the Senate. Uh, the House Republican bill is, is uh, rife with it. And so we'll keep going with it, Satan. OK, so, Eric, what he just admitted, he, they're using children as pawns. Yeah, and, and that's you're right, Bob. You, that's the way you do it on the left. You just use the kids and you say, if you're against the kids, you're, you're, you're evil, you're, you're horrible. Um, let's uh, uh, regarding the Christianity part, uh, Nancy Pelosi. We're taught to be Christian-like in your personal being. Not everyone. Not saying everyone has to be Christian. I mean, that would be like Islam. If you're not Islam, if you're not with us, we're going to kill you. You're against us. Christians believe you want to be compassionate, be compassionate. You know, Nancy, you want to be, you, what, 250 million bucks? You want to spend some of that? Knock yourself out. Um, adopt a few Mexican babies. That would be fantastic. Do it for yourself. But don't tell everyone else to. We don't want to adopt Mexican babies. I don't. I have a 15-year-old. I don't want to adopt any more babies. So here's the issue. The, at, at risk of getting even more death threats than I've been getting. But you mean I think, any babies. I think. <laughs> what? You mean any babies. Not okay, okay, Mexican, Canadian. Honduran. Thank you, Honduran. Right, correct. Okay. Beanie you babies. Don't want to adopt but I will tell you, 80%, I like 80 percent of yeah. all illegal illegals coming over are coming through the Mexican border and likely Mexican. I'm just saying that. Anyway, so getting back to the, my death threats, mm -hmm. I do suggest increasing um, legal immigration, quadrupling it. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Making People it hate, hate hearing that. Making it faster because we can use low cost labor in this country. We can use four or five million more people a year into our economy. That's what killed Japan was this declining birth rate and no one was coming to Japan. Bring it. I think it's a great idea. I welcome that. Okay, to follow up on what he's saying, why should we be preached to to say if you're not a good Christian unless you support amnesty and breaking the law? There is a way to do this because it's been done for years and years by people lawfully who respect the rules and laws of this country. They want to come in. They want to work hard. They want to raise their families. They want to be able to have the choices to go to a public school or a charter school or do something and provide for future generations. So I think you're also saying let's not let's take care of who we have here. Let's provide a legal path to citizenship that everybody adheres to because we have plenty of babies here that need good schools and education and have illnesses and developmental problems that all have 
issues that we need to address as American citizens. Fair? Fair. Yeah. Dana, isn't it, but it is hypocritical at its heart because you have people like Pelosi who always talk about the separation of church and state. Yeah. Only. Did you know what I was going to say? I don't know because I read your notes. Um, that's <laughs> impressive because I yeah. could barely read them myself. But I want to. This Nancy Pelosi yesterday. We played the clip of her from CNN when she was talking to Candy Crowley, in which she compassionately called Hamas mm -hmm. a humanitarian organization. Yeah. Right. And then she was as pressed on whether it was terrorist organization. And she said, uh-huh. And it was not as equivocal as it is this. Just two weeks ago, when the S Supreme Court, I was going to say SCOTUS, when the Supreme Court announced the Ho Ho Hobby Lobby decision, the left was saying that small business owners do not have a right to practice their religion. They do not have to, a right to bring their mm -hmm. beliefs into a policy arena. But that is what she is trying to do today. I understand the appeal sure. to Christians, and I think that a lot of people share it. In fact, in the Gallup poll today, or AP, it was AP poll, 62% of people said that they are for sending the children back. I don't think that is out of frustration and anger or being Satan or being mean. I think it is out of compassion because the better place for these children is not languishing for years waiting for hearings. It is to go back, to be reunited with their families, and then to have some sort of a better legal process to allow them to come into the country. If, if, there's, if I could just make one point, I hear from most conservatives and most Republicans the word uh, law. They break the law by doing this. Uh, and it is true, in fact, that the law has been broken. But also, there are hundreds of thousands of U.S. businessmen who break the law every year by hiring them. Do I hear one peep out of the point. Republicans or the conservatives about that? I do not. Is anybody so? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's I'll what you, you Verify is all about. I'd like yeah. to, I'd like to see somebody. I'd like to see somebody. That, but, will you, but, will you, will you, show me some perp walk that says well, a businessman. No, for but it. as Dana points out, E-Verify e e requires you to, to make sure that you're paying a legal uh, a legal immigrant. Which not means a lot of them are not doing it, okay, right? Okay, but, but look, look. So why don't you look, arrest them? And both well, Bob, here, can I just, yeah, just sure. here, look. Colorado legalized pot, right? That's a, that's breaking the law, a federal law, right? What, but the what state does that decided, have to do with what I just Because I'm, what, well, you're, the point you're trying to make is, okay, so it happens over here, so we're supposed to look the other way on all illegal immigrants, just because some people hire them and the corpor you don't go after the corporations. you got to stop it. you got to stop it from the corporate side. you got to stop it from the well, border then, side. And we're going to talk about it's, it in it's the all, it, it's all of the body. It's all <laughs> in the body of the legislation on immigration. So why do, you not, why do we not arrest some businessmen? Let's arrest them. But